Okay. Difficult getting the badges in a nice place. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tone ahead. Of course, I want to flash the badges. Want the want people to know what machine I'm using. <laughs> so, what are we going to do with this one? Black and yellow. Hang on, no, we're not doing dual color. Correction, we're doing single color. So we're going to go yellow, cyan, and magenta. This is the single color without the black. So this original is a black and white original, pretty much. So we're just going to give it some color, something different to what you normally see. <laughs> So I'm wondering what we're going to use. This one's a this one's a, uh, a thermal printout, like a, a, a receipt. So you got to, it'd be nice to make it a little bit heavier. Let's hope we don't get too much background from it, but we'll find out how it goes. So we're gonna we're gonna lighten it off, so we're gonna have less background when using the dot matrix mode. So hopefully it'll be a really Contrasty. We're just going to leave it in positive mode. We're not going to do that today. So contrast. Want it to be contrasty. Okay, now we've got to enlarge it. We've got to work out how big this original is. This original is... It's an order number. It's from McDonald's. The Maccas. You know, typical Maccas. When you wait in line, you just wait for your number to be called. So we're just going to put that there. I'm not sure how big we're going to make it, but we'll see what we'll do. With this Maccas thing, you can just see it's a bit... Longer than an A5 and narrower than an A6, so it's going to be a funny size. Or if we're going to make it that, we're just going to find out, try and work out how we're going to do it. We're going to go here, so we're going to work out how wide, wide is X, which is the length. So we're just going to try and be intuitive here with this shit. I don't know how big to make this sucker. I'm gonna make it 160 in length. Maybe smaller. Fuck, I can't get it right. Hundred and forty seven percent for the X and for the vertical, we're gonna have to give it a bigger, a much bigger size. We're going to make this one a 280. Let's see how we go. Whew. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Yep, our first colour off the rank is yellow, as you can see there. Okay, let's see if we've set this up nicely. Okay, what's happened here? That's interesting. That's like it's... I think I've enlarged it too big or something. I've done something wrong. Yeah, it's too... I've, oh, fuck, I don't like that. Let's have a look at the original. Yeah, there's a lot of space up there. For some reason, I've made it way too big. It's going to be a bit smaller than an A4 or an A5 in, in length. So we fucked up. We fucked up the Y and, and the... and the, We fucked up the X and the Y looks a bit small too. So we're going to go back and we're going to work this one out. So we're going to make this one 100 and 30... 135 or 130% I feel like I'm doing and this one 280 is too low so we're going to make it 
200, actually no, we're not making it 200, kill you that, it's on 100 now, we're going to make it, fuck it, we're going to go 300%, we're going to make some roundish numbers, so that's the Y, and now we're going to see if we've corrected it. Okay, let's see how we've done it. For some reason, we're having a problem. It looks like the image is shifting. For some reason, it's fucking well shifting. I don't understand what the fuck is happening with this. I've not done it right. I don't understand. i got a feeling maybe the original setting, we can kill that, because that's cutting it off. So now we're just going to go. We're going to use fucking A4. And let's see, it goes to show, photocopiers are difficult to use, even for an experienced operator like me. If they, occasionally they do this, they throw you a curveball, so to speak. And when they throw a curveball, it's hard to work out what the fuck has happened. What have you done to make this machine misbehave? Or maybe the photocopier, as a lot of people often say, you know, in folklore, so they say... It has a mind of its own, but now it looks like we've tamed it. Finally, now I've just changed the original size, and now that's a lot better. That looks a lot better. That's our first one. That's the yellow. We're just going to call it that. You can see it's stretched sideways. <laughs> it's not what a docket normally looks like, not a docket that long. So now we've worked it out, which is a good feeling. It's a relief. <laughs> And now we're going to go for the cyan. This demo is going to be prolonged. This is going to take some fucking upload time and data. <laughs> You've got to laugh. It is funny. Photocopiers are funny. But sometimes what they do to piss you off is funny in a sense, even if it's in, even though you're not terribly chuffed with it at the time. And sometimes you can't get the fucking thing to do exactly what you want it to do. But I mean, photocopiers are just shit. They're fucking idiot machines, but they're funny. I do think they're kind of amusing, but that's because I'm into them. So, but most people have to do, use them to work, and when they make when they don't work properly, <laughs> it could even lead to being fired, being dismissed because you made a huge mistake. Yeah, put all this shit that had all these this big mistake. If you're working in a print shop environment, especially. I've worked with, in a print shop environment, and believe you me, I've fucked up so many times. It's not fucking funny, and I've been grilled for it. And it's not a nice feeling when you fuck up a huge print job or copy job. <laughs> it's not fun. It's no fun at all. It's your fucking job on the line, as, as well as psychologically you feel a bit defeated. But it's a large part it's because you're going to lose your fucking job if you fuck up too many times. But anyway, enough about that. I think we'll call that quits. This is prolongated enough.